वेलकम टू सुपर मनी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट मोर सब्सक्राइबर्स एज सिंपल एज दैट ओके हाउ मेनी ऑफ आस डिजाइड टू राइट डाउन आर इन्वेस्टमेंट फिलासफी एंड क्रिएट एन इन्वेस्टमेंट फिलासफी स्टेटमेंट आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ आस विल से ओ दिस इज एन ओवर किल वी डोंट नीड इट विच इज ट्रू बिकॉज बट मोस्ट इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स इंसिस दैट देर बी एन इन्वेस्टमेंट फिलासफी स्टेटमेंट एंड वेन इन डाउट यू गो टू दैट सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इट कुड से इफ इट्स अ पेंशन फंड इज टू से आई वॉन्ट स्टेबिलिटी और आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू मच वोलाटिलिटी आई विल नॉट बाय अ शेयर विच इज विच डज नॉट हैव एन इंक्रीजिंग ई पी एस ओवर फिफ्टीन क्वार्टर्स राइट ऑल दैट इज कैप्चर्ड इन द इन्वेस्टमेंट फिलासफी स्टेटमेंट आई हैव डन वीडियोज ऑन वॉट इज इन्वेस्टमेंट फिलासफी स्टेटमेंट so my first argument for a investment philosophy statement is yes it is an overkill for most of us but it gives you the intellectual appeal of saying i will write down what i am doing because it's going to be very useful if you are not around your <coughs> spouse and children will know what you have done to that extent it is useful it is also useful because uh, during bad times you can refer to it uh, like uh, you know suppose you have a house which you want to give on rent right you may do you make an agreement answer is yes today you make an agreement because it is needed by law but even if it was not needed by law it was always sensible to make uh, the rent agreements and i have given houses on rent my uh, cousin's house on rent in the 1970s for 400 rupees a month and there was no agreement absolutely no agreement it was just he would come and give the rent and nothing happened yes of course nothing happened but today the law requires that you have it now if you are investing in mutual funds if you are buying a life insurance policy if you are keeping your money in a bank account please understand for everything there is an agreement behind it right the only place where we don't have anything in writing is when we buy equity shares the broker is saying i will buy this and deliver it to you for which you will pay money he is not saying that uh, the it's a good share that i'm buying for you it will create wealth that if you want you to sign up a pms agreement with somebody that's a different uh, ball game but when you are trying to buy your own share <coughs> or when you are trying to make your own investment one of the best things you can do is put it in a writing create an investment philosophy statement which can be very useful maybe in 2022 when the market crashes okay it's a joke but yes in 2008 if you had invested money if you had invested in say 2007 and you had an investment uh, ips uh, investment philosophy statement you would have looked at it in 2008 and said look i have invested for the next 15 years i am going to remove this money only in 2022 uh, so why am i panicking because you would have said it in writing that in 2000 and uh, if the market falls 20% or 30% i will invest more money and i don't need this money for 10 years 15 years you would have read it in writing committed to yourself and to your adv- advisor that this is the money that you don't require for 10 or 15 years right now what happens is people who invest in 2007 at a high commit the second mistake of coming out in 2008 when it is a, it's a low those are two mistakes which are compounding one another right you invested at a high and you sold at a low this is very common for the retail investors to keep on doing this they keep repeating this they buy on a high thinking that they will wait and they will have patience but then they will sell on a low why does this happen this happens because the people have something called nervous energy when the markets fall you are wondering what to do your hands are itching and you think you have to take some action the reason why uh, vipassana is very useful or meditation is very useful for investors is simply because it allows you to sit tight doing nothing that's not easy i mean meditation is not easy it sounds very simple but it is not and uh, i i'm more amused by people who they say oh i can meditate for 20 minutes he can meditate only for 10 minutes it's not a competition investment is not a competition you invest to meet your goals it's as simple as that you don't invest because your neighbor has invested maybe your neighbor has 200 crores net worth and you have 8 crores as net worth you are not even what are you comparing that neighbor i mean it's like looking at warren buffett telling that in case i die my wife should put 90% of the money in an index fund and 10% in a yes correct that's great advice but look at the context look at the quantum right 
uh, if he's going to leave her $10 billion, it wouldn't really matter where she gets invested. If he's going to leave her $1 billion, it may not matter. And she may be 80 by the time he dies. Then it doesn't really matter where she invests. So don't worry about what other people are saying, what other people are doing. It doesn't matter. You see what you are investing. You see why you are investing. You see where you are investing. You see what you want to get out of it. The only thing that you should want out of your investment is what you need to do for your goals. You don't have to worry whether you are a successful investor. All of us are successful investors if we can meet our goals. How does it matter? None of us will be, uh, I will, def I know for sure that I will not be the richest man in the world and I know I will not be the poorest man in the world. I will be somewhere in between, right? The richest man is here, the poorest man is here. I will be somewhere in between. It doesn't matter as long as I can meet my goals. Don't be competitive about meditation. <laughs> Don't be competitive about investing. It doesn't really matter. Don't keep comparing usko itna return mila, that fund has given so much. If you have enough money to meet your daughter's education, your son's education, your uh, own retirement plans and you are able to help people. Your uh, in-laws didn't have enough money and you pay help them. Your parents didn't have enough money. A sibling of yours needed an operation, didn't have adequate medical insurance, you uh, paid them. That's fantastic. You are here, you are investing, you are making your investments, you are meeting your goals, that's enough. So write down in your investment philosophy statement where you will not write down like uh, my I have to get better returns than my neighbor. That's not what you are going to write. Right? What you are going to write is what you are investing. What is the weighted average return on your portfolio that you need to achieve your goals? Please understand your uh, equity may be giving you 24% in a bull run but you may have put only 5% of your uh, net worth or 10% of your net worth in equities. In the overall weighted average return on your portfolio it may not make any sense at all. You may have to increase your allocation to equity. Whatever it is, whatever are your goals, what are you investing, how much are you investing, what is your expectation, when will you sell, will you panic, will you not panic, at what rate will you panic, all that is captured by the uh, investment uh, philosophy statement and I am very uh, <clears throat> sure that the successful uh, financial planners write it down, put it down in writing, make sure that people have all the details, uh, I mean it's nice to have all the details in one place, know when the client will sell, when the client will not sell and how you should communicate, do you want a communication every week, every month, right? Answering all those questions will be in the, in the IPS. Now the IPS also allows you to mm, sit calm during a crisis. When do you need an agreement? You need an agreement only during a crisis. If you have a tenant landlord relationship which is working fine, the society does not insist on that and you are getting your rent on time, you don't have to worry at all. But one day if he refuses to vacate and he says this is my flat, look I have been living here, everybody knows me, nobody knows you and he tries to occupy the flat illegally, then you are going to the agreement. So that is exactly when you go to the investment philosophy statement. So what should an investment philosophy statement contain? It should contain the purpose of why you are investing, what are the goals, uh, how often will you communicate with your uh, investment advisor, right? Uh, who are the other people involved? Uh, how much should your wife uh, be involved? I mean, she should be involved in drafting of the investment philosophy statement. Uh, what is the expected return? What asset classes you don't want the investment advisor to ever buy? Like, you know, no FNO, no gold. You know, you may want to buy gold on your own. FNO you may want to do on your own. You may want to do with somebody else. But have your own investment philosophy statement in place to know what you are going to do, what you are not going to do. What is your return expectation? When will you rebalance? When will you reallocate? When will you allocate more to a, a simple, small, uh, what I would call a tactical uh, reallocation? You have a daughter's education fees to be paid in the next uh, two years. So you will take some money and put it there. And that is just a tactical allocation. It has got nothing to do with your overall life allocation. You may have money in an emergency fund. You may still hold cash for investing. Today, I may have uh, say 5 lakhs in an emergency fund and I may have 50 lakhs cash or 30 lakhs cash depending on my view of the market and depending on my total portfolio. Cash for investing, don't combine the two, they are not together. The 5 lakhs is for an emergency, the 30 lakhs is for investing when the markets come down. So, 
uh, have that very clear the return target the level of risk that you will take the risk that you will not take the asset classes into which you will go with what kind of a time frame whether you will stay there come out whether you will do private equity whether you will do venture capital right uh, the return that you want the risk that you will take how often um, uh, what happens when if you die uh, whom does she take instructions from it could be as simple as what buffett says that uh, take all my money and put it into an index fund so if your wife does not want to handle the complications or your husband does not want to handle the complications and you think there is adequate money go for a 70% equity and 30% debt or maybe if there is adequate money go for 70% equity debt and 20% uh, equity and 10% cash any of those things but sit down and talk to your spouse sit uh, draft uh, you know uh, find out how often do you want to talk do you want it to be a joint call do you want it to be on skype zoom or or uh, or do you want to meet physically uh, is there a one page summary which will uh, which will summarize the whole thing all your maybe it's a seven page document or an eight page document is that a document which you're going to share with your chartered accountant while filing the income tax return? returns do you do you wish online reports do you wish paper reports do you will you discuss it or will you just say uh, i will discuss only if there are parameters which have got me worried right like a health report i will not i will go do a test check uh, do a check up of all my blood and everything and i will go to the doctor only if there is something which is alarming i will not go to him and bore him with all the details if it's regular but if there is something alarming or if i think there is something alarming or something which i don't understand i may go to my doctor and say can i have a look at it right so it's not that i have a health uh, statement but uh, i need an investment philosophy statement decide on um, how how what the manager can do what he can't do especially if you're giving it in pms set up a monitor for finding out what are the deviations which you will get alarmed about right so do all this this helps because when your markets come down and you are very scared and you have something called nervous energy this is a document to go to and say this is the purpose this is what i have done this is what i will achieve so you don't react to every turbulence because every plane that takes off will have some turbulence could have hard landing could have any of those problems right but it is only a crash that will kill you it is not the turbulence so remember during turbulence read your investment philosophy statement and to read the philosophy statement during a turbulent time which could be 2022 it can't be 2021 because the days are almost over could be 2022 23 24 25 anywhere in the future i have no clue so be prepared for it and being prepared there is nothing wrong thank you